okay. Uh, can everyone hear me okay? Yes. Yes. Wonderful. Let me just get over here. The good news is this won't be uh, death by PowerPoint. Um, if you can hang with me for um, about 10 minutes, I've got about five slides that I'd like to cover with you. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say thank you both to Ed and Dave uh, for both coaching me and also giving me the uh, opportunity to be invited in uh, to share this with your club um, and let you evaluate um, if you'd like to participate or not. Uh, we certainly hope you will. Um, all of us, if we, you know, run around the call, uh, we're all, somebody's, uh, if I could ask somebody to mute, uh, that'd be great. Um, you know, if we went around on the call, all of us are dealing with something. Um, I'm dealing, uh, unfortunately, with ALS. I'm a person living with ALS. Um, my life uh, changed um, in September of 2017, which after about nine months of going through, you know, various tests, uh, they narrowed it down. And, you know, unfortunately, uh, here's where I am. Um, I've been determined uh, to do something positive with that. You know, ever since um, we moved from Richmond uh, over here to the Charlottesville area in 2018, um, and you know, no regrets, no looking back. Um, this is a beautiful area, uh, very progressive people, uh, and also it's um, uh, you, what's not to like with uh, the mountains, photos, uh, and everything else uh, that we have to offer. Um, the when you look at ALS, and we're going to talk a little bit about um, facts and figures in a moment, um, but uh, at the crux of it is fundraising. Uh, this is a rare disease. It affects um, about 20,000 people in the US. So if you start doing the math with um, 330 million, uh, that's uh, point, uh, four zeros in a six. So it's like winning a reverse lottery ticket. But um, we uh, have walks every year uh, that are located throughout um, all the major cities in the country from the ALS Association. Um, the ride is gonna be something new for us. Um, they've had those very successfully like in Napa Valley, uh, Massachusetts and elsewhere, uh, but never in Virginia. So uh, there's an opportunity to do that, uh, not in July when it's hundred degrees, uh, but a little earlier in the year and try to avoid uh, UVA's graduation uh, and other events that are going on. So uh, we are online. We do have a Facebook page. Um, we also have, you know, low, uh, we have wide variability uh, on Facebook, but we must be doing something right. And in a different time, I'd be glad to talk to you more about that. Um, I spent uh, uh, 20 plus years at Microsoft so my uh, background is in the IT world. Uh, it doesn't make me a Facebook expert, but at least I understand you know, some of the algorithms and how they're trying to drive participation. Uh, we also have a, um, an Instagram site, uh, which is something you may wanna evaluate if um, you're trying to get the message out you know, quickly and have people look at something new every week. Think of uh, Instagram as being the child of Facebook. Um, and that's how they're related. They can be very well integrated. Um, but anyway, our event's going to be May 14th. Um, it'll start at 7 a.m. We have to check people in and then get them out on the rides. Um, I understand some of you have uh, previously worked with uh, the Boys and Girls Club uh, on their rides that they used to have. This follows a very similar uh, route uh, that we'll see uh, out in uh, Crozet. But it will start at uh, Pro Renata and either, you know, wind south towards uh, the Batesville market or, you know, wind uh, north uh, up to Maybells. So here's a, a few facts about ALS. Um, you know, why, why am I choosing to do this? Why do so many others choose to try to do something about it? Uh, pretty rare. Um, about 5,000 um, are diagnosed every year. Uh, the life expectancy is not good. 
it's two to five years. So, you know, of course, I'm very aware of that coming up on year five in September. Uh, and it's 100% fatal. You know, it's something you have to get your head around. Uh, we're all living with a terminal uh, illness uh, called life. This one just accelerates that timeline. Uh, about 10% are genetic, 90% uh, are sporadic, like I am. Uh, and it's a difficult problem to solve when you've got such a small population and it takes $2 billion, that's with the B, under the US system uh, to get a drug to market. Uh, the economics are just not there, you know, for uh, small, rare disease populations like this. What the ALS Association has chosen to do is to seed promising programs, and they've been able to figure out that the multiple is about four to six dollars for every dollar that they invest uh, is then invested by the pharmaceutical companies that take that forward. Uh, the symptoms, um, you know, I won't spend a lot of time on that. Uh, basically, you know, for me, I was uh, out traveling and threw my uh, roller bag up on the the TSA line and the thing felt like it weighed hundred pounds. Um, I said, hey, something's wrong here. I uh, went to you know, the doctor and sometime later they made the diagnosis, but you know, usually it's a progressive weakening of the muscles. Eventually it gets to the point that um, uh, you can't walk, you can't talk, you can't move and you can't breathe. Uh, when you can't breathe, um, that's the end of it. Um, for reasons that are not understood, uh, the military, uh, uh, no matter if you've been you know, active or retired, you're twice as likely to get diagnosed as the general public, and uh, they just don't understand why. So I'll stop there just for a second. I know that you know, that was kind of the crash course on ALS. Any general questions at this time before I move on? I'll take that as a, a no, but we can come back to it. Uh, the other thing that I, I didn't emphasize is there's no, you, you don't go do a blood test and they diagnose that you have ALS. It's a, uh, they have to uh, eliminate you know, everything else that's out there. And then eventually you get to a neurologist and eventually you get to an ALS clinic that specializes in that. Um, and then they've got some specialized machinery that you know, allow them to zone in on it. So, you know, I go to the UVA clinic here. They're, uh, they're excellent. They, they give you your best shot. So, you know, we're, we're having this event and it's going to be on uh, May 14th. That's a Saturday. Uh, that'll be pretty much rain or shine. Um, although uh, we do have a weather policy, we do have a COVID policy. Um, you know, basically, um, I think the point was well taken. Nobody knows what uh, things are going to look like in six months. Uh, don't have a crystal ball. But, um, you know, if COVID um, morphs and goes in a different direction, um, uh, we'll have a, a method to get the message out uh, to all of you that may choose to participate, uh, as well as, um, you know, those that are coming for the event. Um, and cancel it. Um, the same with weather. Uh, if we're going to go with AccuWeather, if something pops up and it's within 20 miles and we see lightning or, you know, there's a big thunderstorm headed this way, it's safety is going to overrule everything else. So you can see from um, the, the map here, um, and you should have a, a copy of this that I think Ed or Dave can distribute out um, in a kind of the routes uh, for the people that are hardcore, uh, they take the red route uh, that's uh, 100 kilometers or 62 miles. Um, then there's um, the blue uh, and the other routes, which are progressively shorter. So uh, we've got 100, a 50, a 25. Uh, and then the uh, fun and family is going to be um, 10 kilometer. That's about six miles. Uh, that's to get out to uh, Child's Orchard and hopefully have some of their fabulous ice cream. So these are the routes. Um, you can see we've got a, a number of rest stops, Press Central and Pro Renata, uh, that uh, coverage, and then 
uh, the mobile support. Um, a couple of the bike shops have signed up uh, to help us with uh, mechanical support. And then also uh, I talked with, um, I think uh, Dave earlier, we'll make sure to have um, the, I call them runners uh, or sweepers. Uh, if somebody breaks down, we don't want the SAG support hauling people back to Pro Renata. That needs to be something that we as the event take care of, you know, just to have clarity. And then we're pretty far down the path on, we've got the ICS uh, document for incident support. Um, and it's just a small world kind of thing. One of my relatives happens to be in law enforcement and he'll be serving as well as the safety officer the day of the event. He's used to dealing with the media too. So in terms of support, um, they ask, uh, we started this ICS 201 document, uh, but we certainly need to fill in uh, names and numbers uh, with detailed information that we can then uh, share with the right authorities uh, and have a game plan uh, in front of us. So uh, we've got the draft. We'd like to get this completed by the end of March with our event being the middle of May, then sh share that back. I've already sent a copy to Albemarle County, uh, the police, the sheriff, the fire department. Uh, we've got one permit from Albemarle County. We're waiting on the second one. Um, for you as a volunteer, if you consider helping us, I would just ask that you go to the website and actually register. That way um, uh, we can figure out what t-shirt size you need. Um, also get your cell number, uh, which we've got a, a a system, and I know you've got your own uh, to notify, but you know, basically do a blast to all the people that uh, have a cell phone because uh, text usually works when cell service does not. And that'll be the, the main way that we notify people of a cancellation or, uh, hey, we've got uh, something that's gone wrong and we need to stop. Um, we'll also provide you as well as a t-shirt, um, two drink tickets for an adult beverage of choice or water or whatever you want, uh, a pint glass uh, and barbecue. Uh, you will be required to sign a COVID waiver that uh, should we you know, gather together and then disperse. Um, if you pick up COVID, uh, you can't sue us. It just takes a, you know, a page to say that. Um, and also uh, we'll out, clearly outline the weather, weather policy so that there's no you know, ambiguity. If you want to go, if you want to go directly to the site, uh, you can just take your camera and go to the QR code. Uh, that's the quick response code on the right, uh, and just take a picture of that with your um, uh, cell phone, and that'll take you right to the website as well. So, uh, uh, no cost to volunteer, and we just ask you consider to participate. You know, donate potentially uh, or consider sponsoring. Uh, if you do follow Instagram, uh, that's our handle. So with that, um, hopefully I'm about right on time. Uh, I'd like to say you know thank you for allowing me to briefly run through that. Uh, Amelia uh, is a name at uh, als.org uh, that can answer additional questions uh, or myself. Um, I'm a board member, uh, but obviously I don't have an ALS info uh, alias because I don't work for the organization. Um, any questions that I can uh, take at this time? We had uh, uh, one uh, question from Patrick uh, in the chat window, which is how many people are anticipated to, to be participating in the, the various rides? Sure. Yeah, great question. I'm, I'm sorry if I didn't cover that. Um, we're anticipating um, 120 to 150, uh, probably the hardcore cyclists that'll do the longer. Uh, I would say the majority will probably sign up for uh, the 50 or the 100. Um, and then uh, we think that another 40, maybe 50 for the family ride. So uh, we could have as many as 175, 200 cyclists out there. Um, the, it takes a total of about 75 volunteers in different capacities to put this on. Um, 
and then we had another, um, I call them supporters. They may not want to ride six miles, uh, but they might want to uh, drink a beer or two uh, that'll be there for supporting or a beverage of choice. So, you know, all up, probably have about 300 people. Steve, Sarah had a question. Mm -hmm. And I think her question was, she sent it by a chat. Is this a fundraiser or is it to oh, I'm, uh, raise boy, awareness of AOS? What's the purpose of this event? Wow, I completely missed that. I, I think I need a glass of wine or something. The uh, Sorry about that. Yes, uh, this is all about fundraising. Uh, there are no competitive prizes here, uh, except for uh, the individual that uh, raises the most funds and the team that raises the most funds. Those will go back to the ALS Association. The association, as we saw in the earlier diagram, uh, it does three things. One is provides research dollars. Second, it provides, um, they call it care services. So for example, there's an equipment loan closet. So when you need a wheelchair, you need a Hoyer lift, um, you need um, you know, some other things to help you with quality of life. Um, you know, rather than going out of pocket, it's something, uh, it's a loaner closet. Uh, so it's, it's things like that. And then also a small portion uh, goes to uh, congressional advocacy because uh, they're trying to change, you know, the laws like before you had to wait uh, three years for the Social Security to tell you you were disabled. You know, by then, uh, if you looked at the statistics, most of the time you're already gone. So that's been a, uh, a, a really good um, proof point that uh, advocacy and things um, you know, can change the system. There's still only two drugs available. Uh, neither one of those uh, are a cure. All they do is slow this down by about three months. That's it. And that's the best we've done since uh, being discovered in 1869. Okay. Now, Dave Damon, I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. Well, as volunteers, we will sh we would volunteer via you, correct? Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. I yeah. So I'll 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 maintain contact with Steve as we're developing our ham radio volunteer pool. So what what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get people uh, to support five rest stops as well as the start finish. Uh, the SAG vehicles and sweep vehicles, uh, shadowing for uh, Steve and uh, and Amelia, and so it it's it's a it's a very typical uh, bike event for us to support, and uh, so I, I'm just I'm really delighted that we have this as a as a as a brand new. Uh, uh event that uh that we that we can get behind and support so yeah i'll i'll start uh, i'll start developing a volunteer list so if you want to email me uh my call sign at awrl.net and let me know whether you'd like to participate as a as a fixed station or a mobile station or or what uh we'll we'll certainly try and get you uh into a a position that you would like to uh to, to, to provide. And if you have no experience, um, don't, that's fine. Uh, sign up, we'll pair you with somebody who is experienced. Uh, so you, 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 can, uh, you can get a little uh, time out on an event and uh, uh, have, have some fun. So in, in general, our interest in supporting events like Steve's uh, Steve's bike uh, bike tour. Uh, one is just as public service uh, because that's that's something that we're all committed to. But beyond that, it's the opportunity to get out and use our radios and our and our communication skills to provide some service. Uh, there's problem solving involved. And it's necessary that we have some fun doing it. So uh, there's there's a number of things that I look for in an event, and this one is certainly uh, right right up at the top of the list. So really appreciate it, Steve. 
Uh, Ed, does that cover it for you? Yes. And yep, and the beer will cover it. All right. 